I have just had the most dreadful 12 hours of my life. I caught the bus from Udaipur to Jodhpur, which only cost me 70 rupees, which was great. The rough guide said it was a private bus, so I assumed it might be quite decent, but it wasn't a private bus, it was a public bus, which meant we kept stopping to pick people up, and it cost me 5 rupees extra to have a bag in, in the boot. Aside from that, going at 15 miles an hour up the mountain hills, having left at 10.45, um, 45 minutes after we were supposed to have left, the bus was late. Um, we got to the top of one of the many mountains at the junction point and pulled in at half past one for half an hour's break, which is a bit crazy because we were only going for 90 minutes. Um, then 20 minutes later at, at um, 20 past one, uh, we pulled in at a, another junction and the engine caught fire. Great. So we all had to bundle out of the bus and uh, sat around this desolate roadside cafe area. Uh, I slept under a tree for about half an hour. Um, for about four hours, we got back on the bus and then headed on to Jilpool, which naturally took us another four hours. Um, we were supposed to arrive here at five o'clock in the morning. Uh, the bus finally called in at ten past nine, so I'd had about an 11 hour journey on the bus, it was so uncomfortable and the fat bloke next to me couldn't keep still, fidgeted all the time. There was no suspension on the bus, uh, my spine uh, is suffering repetitive injury strain, I've got a bit of whiplash on the neck uh, and obviously I didn't get any sleep, I only got half an hour on, on the concrete under that tree and then I get I get to jump for and I get a rickshaw from where the bus drops us off and say, the blue house, please, uh, on the other side of the fort. So he takes me to a completely different hotel, which is more expensive. Uh, I say, no, I don't want to go here. I have a look at the room, it's 150 rupees minimum, and, and I didn't want to pay 150 rupees, I want to pay 100, uh, which is still more than I was paying in a deal for. Um, so he said, yes, 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 the Blue House. And we went to the Blue House, but it was a different Blue House. This one was also 150 rupees. Um, and the room was shit. I mean, he must have been getting a commission at close to 100 for that. So I said, all right, okay, let's forget the Blue House, because it was about two kilometers away. Uh, take me to the Maya, which is recommended in the record. So we headed back towards the Maya, but guess what? We stopped at a different hotel. I went in there and it was 175 rupees. Uh, I should have lamped him one and I threatened to just pay him and piss off out there and find the ritual who would do the job. Um, he eventually took me for my and guess what? It was exactly what I wanted for 100 rupees. Um, it's just been a horrible, horrible day. I'm going to get some sleep now and then I'm going to put my ticket to test in there and maybe go up and see him the job put for. And, uh, this machine hasn't ejected properly yet, so I've got to work out how to do that because I've come to the end of this tape. So, uh, I'll speak to you later. This is an Indian toilet. You have to crouch over it. I'm not very good at crouching. And you wipe your ass with water. And you might have flush. Flush is not how it is. flush. This is my uh, shower, my taps, and my shower head. It's a pretty natty little room, I like it. And down here I'm uh, sterilising some water. And look. A little picture of Tara. Mm. Yes, you. Now this clock's counting down how many minutes I've got left before I can stick in the second tablet into my um, sterilising blueberry. 
Okay, there's the Swiss Army knife that Colin gave me. And very useful. I've got to do India. Sometimes been very helpful, sometimes been a pain in the butt. Particularly the maps, look at the maps, they're so sparse. 